Hello. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since you've seen me. And I don't have a tripod. So, you guys are sitting in my medicine cabinet because I cannot, I cannot find my tripod since I moved. I cannot find it. I have no idea where it is. But anyway, hello. The fan in my bathroom is attached to the light in here. So, we're just going to have to fucking deal with that. And I'm sorry if you, like, hate it. That's just, that just kind of is what it is right now. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, moving was kind of a bunch and I didn't get all the stuff done that I wanted to get done in order to have a filming setup that just has not worked out for me yet. The whole place. Would it even be, would it even be one of my videos if I was prepared to film it? I'm going to go with no. But, I'm going to do something today. I want to give you guys some content. I want to move the stuff in my music cabinet so you can see me. But, look, we need content, so we're going to do it. I bought, I'll put the hair up a little bit here. <clears throat> so, as you guys know, on this channel, I have bought, I have not been purchasing Kat Von D makeup for, like, actual years at this point, and... She sold the company. Now it's just a Kendo company. They've completely rebranded it to Candy D Vegan Beauty. And I bought some shit. I did. I want to know like what I've been missing. I want to know what the hype is about. And since it doesn't have anything to do with her because I don't like her, we're going to fucking try it today. I didn't get a lot. I haven't even looked at it. I opened the box just so like I haven't even felt like I have not looked with my eyes at the products in here yet. Looks like this. That was my receipt. Okay. So what I did purchase is, whoops, the True Portrait Liquid to Powder Foundation, okay. I got the Locket Setting Powder, because you can always use a setting powder. People talk about how good that is, so I wanted to see. Um, I got the Mini Contour Kit. I got the Foundation Brush, because people use this shit all the time. And then I got an eyebrow pencil. So, honestly, I just kind of want to dive right in and see, like, what the fuck is it. I know everybody's like, oh my god, why didn't you get the good apple foundation? Because I don't like it. Like, I don't want to try it. And that's just, that's just tea, sis. I don't want to try that. I don't want to spend my money on that. It doesn't look like something I would like. It's super, like, greasy looking. Like, it looks like clown paint to me. If you love it, great. Good for you. I don't want to try it. So, I am very excited about this fucking brush, though. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really know if this is going to blend foundation, but it's going to put it on well, if nothing else. It's a good brush. It's very soft. She's a sturdy bitch, so let's just honestly get into it, and um, let's see what's up. I'm going to prim my face with my Gino & Co. Moon Shine Miracle Cream. I like it because I'm like old now, so it makes me look less old. That's like, that's the tea. So I'm going to prime first. This is how I always do my makeup, so we're just going to kind of do my makeup in the way that I always do to give everything like a fair fucking shot. I know this is not the best lighting, but you guys are just gonna have to deal a little bit, okay? So I have a mirror right here, if you see me looking, it's my mirror. And uh, unfortunately, you're just gonna apparently get low quality content from me for a little bit. Um, yeah, until I decide kind of what, oh, that's pretty, the powder's pretty. Kind of what direction that we're gonna be taking this channel. And um. Honestly, I've used oh, and I've used the Shade and Light Contour Palette before. Um, it's very broken, very broken. Just right off the jump, this is shattered when I received it. Like, it's gonna be completely shattered. Yep. So that's cool. I guess I have to send that back. I don't, I don't really know what to, I mean, it is like shattered. Honestly, I don't really know if it's worth it to even try to fix it. I've used this product before and I did used to really like it back when I was still buying her products. The 
lighter shade is like a pink color. I don't know if I'm gonna try to use that to be honest with you because it's just messy and getting all over me and um, super disappointing. But I mean, I think the packaging was probably cute before it was all fucked up. I mean, you know, whatever. I know you guys are so sick of fucking bathroom backdrops, but this is just kind of is what it is at this point, you know? <laughs> like, I'm trying my best. I want to put content out for you guys. I really want to do like an outside setup because like I always have really good lighting. This is gorgeous, but I'm getting fucking powder all over it because I don't love that. I don't know why. The packaging is pretty. There's so much contour powder all over my hands that just from opening that package, I'm getting it just fucking everywhere. This honestly feels oily. Like maybe this has also like leaked. Okay. So, so far, not off to a great start. I mean, I know it's not their fault, but um, most beauty brands individually wrap like powder products or anything that can be broken. And they just kind of put all of it, I'll just show you, in like this big piece of bubble wrap and just like fold it over. So honestly, that's not that great. This fucking contour powder is all over my bathroom. Fun. This is open, which is fun. Just smells like powder. I, I don't know why I thought it was going to have a scent, but whatever. We're going to say maybe this won't be fucking broken. Um, so this is the Signature Brow P Precision Brow Pencil. I'm going to say if I, I hear good things about her eyebrow products. Um, right off jump, is there a spoolie? Yeah, there's a spoolie. Give it a little. It's a spoolie. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, interesting. Huh. Normally with like precision brow products, they're like a very tiny like circle. I don't know if you can even see how this is like oval shaped. But it looks very dusty to be medium brown. Like how, that looks crazy like light to me. It's very dry. Like, okay. Maybe I should have gotten something darker. Cause I mean, I'm like kind of going in, trying to get some fucking pigment here. And the lighting here is so bad. It's just, just shut up. Like, shut up. But I want to do for contrast the brow pencil that I use every day, just so we can kind of see how they compare. Like, I'm using the uh, Billion Dollar Brow Brows on Point pencil. Um, it's waterproof micro brow pencil, and it's in the shade Taupe, which is, it looks like these. And, like, just not doing it as hard. Like, that's how much more pigment I'm getting here. Like, I can still do really fine hair strokes, but it's like, I don't know better we'll see though we will see I'm trying not to be judgy because I really do want to give this like a fair shot out like in the world here and um <clears throat> honestly my hopes were really high not so much now um just I'm just trying to be real with you not so much now they were like I had high hopes I do not anymore whatever anyway so um, i'm just gonna do my eyebrows the way that i always do I always do my eyebrows first i feel like you get like a much softer look if you do your eyebrows before your foundation that's just me i still have an eyebrow slit i have been covering it up some just because i like to be able to change my shit up but anyway i um always do my brow gel first i feel like it gives my pencil something to stick to this is the nyx brow glue and i have been really loving it it's such a small little thing. I think it was like $8 though. Like this is tiny, but I've used it every day for months and I still have products. So I guess it's fun. All right, let's fucking see how this goes. Maybe I think it'll be a little better because it has something like slippy to stick to. Let's fucking see. I would love to use the um, mirror in the shade and light contour book thingy that I just purchased with money. Um, this is just kind of not showing up to be honest with you. I feel like I'm really having to like 
press down pretty hard to get anything to show up. Like the darkening that you're seeing in the front is just my like eyebrows clumping together with the brow gel. So not fucking impressed at all with this. I actually kind of hate this pencil because it's so hard. It's like scratchy. Like there's just such a fine line between a brow pencil that's too emollient to where it's just like scribbling all over your face and a brow pencil that's so hard you can't get any pigment off like then that's okay like it's not a terrible brow like, I don't think that looks horrible but like I did not enjoy the process of putting that on you know what I mean like I did not I feel like I don't know I don't spend tons of time on my eyebrows anyway like I'm really more of a just fill in the spaces and like go on about my life more of a natural looking brow kind of bitch so I thought this would be good like in medium brown this is like my other one is taupe and it is so much darker than this medium brown I don't really know if I would consider this a medium brown I think it's like a dark blonde and I don't hate the shape of it like it's kind of fun but the issue is the shape is good because you can do teeny little strokes but because you have to press down so hard and go over the same spot over and over again you're losing all your precision because the pencil is so dry like okay like, what the fuck is this It's not the worst. I've used worse brow pencils before, but I definitely prefer my billion dollar brow pencil to this. I don't know which one costs more. I'm gonna probably say, I think this one probably costs more because billion dollar brow is not super expensive, but like, um, yeah, I'll still probably use it and just like, whatever. I am not impressed at all with that eyebrow pencil, like at all super disappointed that was the one thing that i thought was going to be like the cool good thing in this like mini haul um all right well oh it's like a okay it's like a squeeze bottle all right that was kind of a lot of product so i'm just going to do a little bit like that this is the shade light so definitely darker than me um Well, I'm maybe turn it around because it feels just amazing on the skin. And I do really like this brush. So we're getting somewhere. Um, it's a very light coverage. It says it's a medium coverage foundation. I do not agree. I think it's definitely more of a light coverage. It doesn't really have, it has no, I don't think it has an added fragrance. It just smells like makeup. Um, definitely more for like a, um, I'm just running to the grocery store and want to even out my skin tone kind of vibe. Come on. I can't get it to come out low. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, like it almost kind of just blends away, which I was not expecting because it does say medium coverage. So I kind of expected a medium coverage. It could also be the brush because I don't hate it feels like nothing on the face it doesn't feel like cakey it doesn't feel crazy it feels fine like it feels like nothing but like you can see the redness that I have like on my nose and on my cheeks and stuff it's, it's not covered at all um but it does look my face does look a little bit more put together and maybe it's the brush like honestly it might be the brush Maybe this is meant for more like thick products. I think a foundation brush should just be like a foundation brush, but you know, that's kind of either here nor there at this point. Um, I can definitely see myself using this. Uh, like I can see myself using it. Um, I am just gonna put on my regular concealer under my eyes and then set it with the powder and just kind of see how that 
first because this is a liquid two powder so it's pretty much like dried down it's a little bit more like wet in like this area but it like you could not set this and be fine probably you know i cannot speak for the longevity of it but i guess we'll fucking see um so this is the just my color pop pretty fresh concealer and this is the one that's just the same color as my skin like i'm not really i'll show you how i do my stuff anyway i am going to use they have a concealer brush but i think this one's fine because i typically nowadays blend out my cream product with a brush um and that looks really good honestly so maybe what i was saying <clears throat> is pretty factual with this that it just does better with a thicker product because this concealer is definitely thicker than that foundation and i think it did a better job at blending it out because now like i just put some concealer on my red spots which I, I honestly don't mind doing, so. It's fun. It's not great. Um, and I'm not blown away by anything so far. Um, let's try this powder. It just smells like powder. So, ooh, it's very fine, which I like. And I'm a little bit picky about my setting powders because I do not like the white cast that it can give somebody with my pale ass complexion. Like I don't need to look paler. And I also don't like how a lot of the times on skin types like mine, because I'm old, it looks like blotchy. Um, <clears throat> so far fine, I'm just going to dust a little bit kind of everywhere. This is how I would normally do my face makeup. God, I wish this lighting was better. I'm just... This is abysmal, but anyway, here we are. Um, powder feels good. I like it. I have no issue with how this feels. It doesn't, like my forehead is gonna look creasy because I have wrinkles in my forehead because I'm old and I emote. So, you know, that's not gonna look better, but I feel like this powder is kind of saving the day a little bit <laughs> on this face makeup situation um i don't want to use this contour palette i don't want to but i'm going to and it is just fucking everywhere and honestly i should just call them and try to get my money back for this i just know myself well enough to know that i'm not actually going to do that like i'm just going to be real with you i could say that i'm going to i, I won't so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to take this brush and just kind of fluff up the light powder and just to get all that contour off, this is the most powdery product I have dealt with in a long time. Um, but I am just going to use just a tiny bit of this more peachy color tone, just right up under the eyes. Kind of give me some brightness. Because this is the fair. Thick as light. And I don't hate that at all. Definitely don't hate it. Again, I have used this product before. And I did used to really enjoy this product, so I'm just going to do a light contour. Um, pretty sure this is just a Winky Lux, you know, a Luxie 512 small contour brush. And, uh, yep, it's just so powdery, even if it's not broken. I remember this powder being very powdery. But I do still like it. The color is really pretty. It doesn't go on super heavy. So like, and honestly, <laughs> not a popular opinion here, but I like my contour to be a little bit more on the gray, like cap, like more gray undertone side, because it's not a bronzer, it's a contour. It shouldn't be super warm. It doesn't look good on me with super warm contour. Like I use a warm bronzer, I don't need extra shit. But it's kind of, migrated to be this big giant clump because it's so broken and powdery i i don't know if that's just because it's broken or if this product is just different than when i used it before um i don't hate it i have always like this product so like it's fine um it's not terrible but this big splotch where it has gone from me blending it right here to feathering out over my whole cheek I don't love because like this I did not do that that's as bad um 
I don't know. Let's come. Let's go on a field trip. Let's go over here to some natural. Let's see what I mean. Like, she's not bad. Is she great? No. Now I am getting some creasing on my under eyes. With I'm not sure if it was the contour powder or the locket powder, but this concealer never creases under my eyes, like never. So looking some real textury. You can see where the foundation didn't just go on my upper lip. I'm looking a lot more texturized than usual. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you I have flawless skin because I don't. I do not I have very textured skin. I have wrinkles in my forehead. Um, these eyebrows are atrocious, honestly, like atrocious. Um, the contour is fun. Powder, I think, is probably fun. This foundation, I hate. Um, I hate it. I hate it. It looks so bad. Like from far away, she's fine. Up close, absolutely not. I look like I have a mustache. Why? Like, look at these lines. Look at this texture. Like, I do have textured skin, but it is not this bad. Mm. Well, you guys, I am not impressed. I am severely disappointed. Um, in these products like I'm not a fan <sighs> sorry if you guys like love these and these are your favorite thing in the whole world I hate it um, the powder I think is probably fine the brush I like but everything else that I use I hate it I do not like it um, and that's my review for you and I'm sorry that the quality of this video is garbage and that I have to move a lot because I cannot find my tripod but I wanted to give you guys something, something to have. I am still here. I am still around. Um, and if you love all these products and they're, they're your favorite product in the world, fucking badass, girl. I hope you love it forever. I fucking hate it. So with that being said, if you want to, you can follow me on all my other social media accounts. I am very active on TikTok right now. Everything will be listed down below. And um, I'll see you later.